Okay guys, what I'm going to do today is uh, to teach you on how to use your calculator in uh, computing some important values. Okay, just to shorten the computation. For example, we have some values here. For example, you have x. Say we have 4, 6, and 5. So what we shall do is to compute for, say, the sum of x. So this is equal to... 15 our n or number of sample say this is 1 2 and 3 so there are 3 values here so that is 3 our mean or the average that is uh, x bar so mean equals sum of x over n that is equal to 15 over 3 so mean equals 5 for example we need to get the value of x squared so we multiply its value by itself so 4 times 4 is 16 6 times 6 is 36 and 5 times 5 is 25 so the sum of x squared here is this is 12 17 carry 1 77 okay so we will try to find these values using your scientific calculator so what we all need to do is to put this on okay then we're going to press mode okay and there are some options here we are going to press one to clean up the entries so press one and again press mode then press two that means we are going to enter some statistical data so we are going to press two okay so as you could see the letters uh, sd uh, appeared here on top okay now we are ready to enter our data so we have four six and five so four then we press m plus uh, it's not actually m plus but that is all about the data here the dt here so press that so we have one so n equals one that means we were able to enter one uh, datum so next is six and then plus so we have n equals 2 then 5 and plus so n equals 3 so it's uh, similar to what we did here because there are three values being entered on uh, the calculator now we will try to find sum of x and sum of x squared so what we're going to do is to press shift and press 1 why 1 because you can see here the the second function which is sum so there is a second function for sum. So we press 1 and in the window we have three options. If you want if you would want to get the n, you press 3. If you would want to get the sum of x, you press 2. And if you would want to get the sum of x squared, you press 1. Uh, for example, we will try to find the sum of x. So we will press 2 then press equals. So we're able to get 15 similar to our uh, computation here now we would like to get the sum of x squared so we will press shift then one again so this is uh, sum of x squared so we need to press one so press one and then equals so we were able to get 77 which is equal to this now if we would like to get the the mean we're going to press shift and press number two okay because it's where the uh, variance the second function for number two is uh, variance so we press two and here we have three options you press one if you would like to get the mean you press two if you would like to get the uh, population standard deviation and if you would like to uh, get the sample standard deviation you press three so for now we are going to get the mean so we'll press one and just press equal okay so we were able to get five and this is so correct so it's just okay to compute manually if you are dealing with few numbers but if you're dealing with a lot of numbers it's very important that you know how to use your calculator but you must be very careful because uh, for example if you press ac here it does not mean that you were able to delete all the, the entries the previous entries are still there 
for example you press delete whatsoever here even if you put this off and put this on again the previous entries were still there so if you press shift and press 1 and press 1 again press equals 77 is still there so uh, that's why it is very important to uh, clean up the calculator before you proceed to the next uh, uh, problem uh, so if you will not clean this up uh, the data will be added into the previous entries and you will end up getting the wrong answers so to clean up the previous entries you need to press mode and press 1 again so press 1 so we are going to press shift and press 1 no more nothing more so we were able to delete the previous entries and you could start again the new computation so that's all for now i hope you find this tutorial useful in solving some problems related to uh, uh, say statistics thank you very much